Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Brian if you happen to be new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, hey, thanks for coming back. And also, you're looking good today. That's what you get for subscribing, by the way. Free compliments and extra greetings at the start of these videos. But this is no ordinary video. This is actually us diving into a post called The Making of Brimstone Sands, the lore design audio and concept art, which is posted over at New World. You can go check it out for yourself if you want to go read it for yourself. But this is going to be the audio narration and some of my thoughts on this post as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy. This is more or less meant for an audio experience um, for those of you who just want to kick back and whether you're driving to and fro doing some uh, doing some bike riding i don't know what you're doing sign off in the comments let me know if you uh, how you're enjoying this content i'm generally generally curious also a new poll is up on this channel if you guys want to go way in over on the community tab let me know when you think the brimstone sands update is going to roll out i'm generally curious about that as well but without further ado let's go ahead and dive in and let's have some fun Greetings adventurers, the Brimstone Sands release is a culmination of in-game lore, Roman and Egyptian mythologies, and lessons learned since New World's launch. Every pixel was crafted with care by the development team, and while each narrative detail was also carefully woven by our narrative team, in anticipation for the upcoming release we went behind the scenes with both teams to learn more about the making of Brimstone Sands. So let's discuss the zone, the lore, design, audio, and concept art. There might be even a few fun developer stories along the way. Our journey into the story of Brimstone Sands began with the narrative design Aaron de Orville. Since New World is set on Earth, we drew up a historical figure and myths to craft the story of Brimstone Sands. Aaron said, We wanted an early Egyptian civilization and agreed that an amazing character like Imhotep would be the perfect choice for a prominent character. That zone tells the story of his arrival and the Egyptians' interactions with the ancients. We also wanted an era dominated by the Romans, so we incorporated figures from that time of Julius Caesar. Aaron went on to tease the narrative direction. Exploring Brimstone will reveal the tragedy that befell both those civilizations, as well as provide more insight into the lore of the Enamic ancients and the mystery of the island. Our next quest took us to the lead zone designer of Brimstone Sands, David and McKenzie, where we explored many of the key themes behind the design team's work. The ancient glyphs were originally discovered in a piece of concept art for Gribbles, i.e. small details for the world art. McKenzie said the glyphs were so visually striking and unique that used everywhere from the expedition puzzles to the open world chests that the natural inclination was to give these some meaning and purpose. What better localization or location to originate the ideas of the magical ancient language is there than Brimstone Sands, one of the oldest ancient civilizations in Eternum? And with a question mark, so if you guys can't see that. Thanks for the resident designer, the anthropologist, Carrie Berg, the glyphs were given original meanings based on common symbols and shapes found in early languages left on Earth. The ancient glyphs were originally just going to be journal pages and each unlocked a word of the ancient language until the world artists started building stunning ancient devices and gizmos. The portal that the other mechan um, mechanics began to bear the ancient glyphs and a unique interaction that was assigned to them. For jumping puzzles, they uh, the very first jumping puzzle in Brimstone Sands was a palace or place of pillars. One of our artists, Tirzen Bohr, took the original design and ramped it up to 11, which began a domino effect in a lot of other points of interest, aka POIs. McKinsey said, the other jumping section that Taraz worked on was on top of the Acropolis. This experience quickly delighted players and became the inspirational basis for all of our points of interest. For the mythology in Brimstone, one of the core pillars of Brimstone Sands is mythology and pantheons. Its significance is apparent with just a glance at some of the zone's names. We wanted to create an authentic tale closely associated with ancient Egyptian and Roman mythologies, McKinsey said. One of the most fun experiences was creating artifacts named AI, places and places of interest, and other secrets that reference these ancient deities and their rites and rituals. The Ennead is a group of nine gods in ancient Egyptian mythology. Our expedition is named after them. 
So we named a point of interest after each of the nine gods that comprise this pantheon to give them special significance. For the sandworm, developing the sandworm was a very exciting project, McKinsey said. The iteration speed alone was very quick, and it took a lot of testing to get right. One of my favorite moments was when we tested the sandworm. We set its respawn timer to just a few seconds on our developer build. This caused an outrageous number of sandworms to spawn all over the desert during the studio test and almost immediately crashing the server. Despite that, the most common feedback we heard from our fellow developers was how awesome it was, even though it repeatedly crashed their clients. For the Great Wall of Nebet Het, the Great Wall of uh, Point of Interest in Brimstone is sort of a culmination of a lot of lessons that we learned in Brimstone, Mackenzie said. Vertically, secrets uh, and the location where players can upgrade their heart gem and unlock a heart rune abilities all found their home in the Great Wall. The artist who worked on it, Mia Del Casillo, did a phenomenal job creating this point of interest, one of, if not the, largest point of interest in New World as a home. It is filled with dozens of secret chambers blocked by magical walls, connected to our Glyph's portal network, and even has an entire elite zone packed into it. For the Aqueduct, Mackenzie shed some light on a few of the team's challenges. There is a side quest in Brimstone that challenges the player to walk across an enormous aqueduct towering over the sands. Mackenzie said, Originally, we asked the player to not only cross it, but once you reach the other side, you have to drop down, go prone on your belly, and crawl backwards through a small crack in the aqueduct's architecture. This was quickly cut due to tech and budget restraints, but the experience of crawling through a tight, claustrophobic tunnel in some of the ancient ruins was a really cool moment. Hopefully, we can revisit that experience in the future. For audio, the audio of Brimstone Sands, the senior de sound designer Michael Finley joined us for the final segment of this behind the scenes. So we discovered a strong dichotomy in the Brimstone Sands ancient uh, that what they represented. Michael said, the ancient Algum and the Anubis are mechanical. They're programmed. They're automated organisms of the future, but still very human-like beings at their core, embodying the spirit of a human civilization from ancient times. We wanted to capture this dichotomy and join together these two opposing ideas in the sound design. Being of an ancient future was the phrase that we used as our guiding light for the con audio concept. Our goal was to find the key sound that represented the mechanical physical appearance, but also had some emotional spark to capture the essence of what the ancient meant which was defined by something that would sound human. The didgeridoo, an ancient instrument invented at least a thousand years ago, proved to anchor the sonic identity of the ancients of Brimstone. We felt that it was a perfect metaphor for invoking the sense of a living, breathing piece of technology. To us, the instrument helped break from the common digital high-tech, squeaky clean, and uniform robot noise typically found in the genre of science fiction. The idea helped us to imagine a more anthropologically authentic mechanical being with more human-like emotional core for the concept art which if you guys were just listening to the audio you might hear me ooh and all ah a little bit but for the characters completing our adventure rewards with concept and for the characters apparel skins and enemies you can see a wide range of various different egyptian kind of look and feel and this honestly looks phenomenal that's one of the things that i really actually did appreciate already about the ptr is the updated loading screens it really kind of brings all this excitement and interest to uh, to heart. You can see some new concept art for various enemies. Very mechanical and like looking just phenomenal. I love the wolf. You'll, if you saw the thumbnail, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're in the audio form, some Roman corrupted soldiers and some various weapons. Now, if you guys want to discover more of the lore, you can always check out the PTR or also look for our uh, Brimstone Sands when it release goes live. And thank you so much for supporting Eternum. So at the end of this, guys, I appreciate y'all hopefully enjoying the audio version of this narration post. Personally speaking, I cannot wait. My vote right now ends up being, I'm wondering if we'll see a staggered release of Brimstone. I will give you guys the information as soon as we can. I'm sure we're going to see comments about when is the when are the Fresh Start servers going live. And as soon as I have information, I'll be sharing that guys with you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this on a random Saturday kind of post to kind of get you guys up to speed on all things that are news i really always enjoy these kind of posts kind of getting in more insight into the development mindset behind the team working on this game and uh yeah thanks so much for being here if you feel like i earn it 
that like button is a great way of helping this video out in the algorithm even though i don't necessarily think it's going to perform ultimately well because it's not like mind shattering news or super cool tips to make millions of gil etc or gold <laughs> and um and you also like my content uh, check out the epic loot radio i did a, a special uh podcast with bdlg and danny that should be going uh, live in the audio form uh, here for you guys today as well the links are all in the description if you want to go sub to that and check out the podcast it was really good talk talking about the future of new world what we want to see in 2023 and without further ado guys i appreciate you all so much uh youtube thinks there's probably a couple videos over here on the left hand side or right hand side however it works uh you know that you might be interested in it i appreciate y'all uh, being here today and hopefully i'll see you in my next video but until then take care